update. I heard my in-laws talking about getting my wife back together with her ex. Original post. I, 35 male, have been with Abby, 35 female, for 13 years now. Every day that goes by, I love her more and more, and we're even expecting our first baby. For the holidays, we always stay two to three months visiting my wife's family. But the problem is that, this year, all the family was really excited saying that Alan is coming. In all the years in the family, I never heard of an Alan, and my wife didn't even care about it. So I thought it was just a cousin. But the famous Alan was my wife's ex and first love. The man lives in Europe, but Abby's family still have contact with him and even invited the man to the house now that he's in the country. I try to get along with Alan, but the man just ignores me and takes every chance to get closer with my wife, making jokes or talking about the past. I didn't took it personal because I don't want to look jealous. But lately, he has been coming every day to visit the family, and Abby's family started comparing his accomplishments to mine. They're all big fans of Alan, and I honestly feel jealous of that because they're treating him better than me. Two days ago, I heard my mother-in-law and brother-in-law talking about how nice it would have been for Abby to stay with Alan because he's a smart man. What hurt me the most was hearing my brother-in-law say that he can try to get Alan and Abby back together. And my mother-in-law just laughed saying that it would be good to go on a trip to Europe every year and not to the countryside with a peasant. Talking about me because I live in a farm with my wife, just because she always dreamed to live in that kind of quiet environment. In fact, now that I'm no longer blindfolded, I'm starting to notice how my brother-in-law makes too many comments to my wife about how great Ellen is. Although Abby never says kind things about Ellen, and I think she even treats him like he's a child. I don't feel comfortable being here knowing that they see me as a dumb peasant, and it's horrible to see how they try to include Ellen in the family when they still treat me like I'm just a casual boyfriend of Abby's. But my wife only sees her family these months of the year, and I don't want to ruin that, or put that kind of stress on her since she is pregnant. I feel like I'm in some kind of rom-com, but I'm in the role of the bad husband the protagonist leaves for the handsome CEO. Haha. <laughs> now, for the top advice before reading the update. Talk to your wife. You've been together 13 years. This is a conversation you should be able to have with her. I find it odd that she didn't mention who this person was, but if she were hiding something, she wouldn't have had the two of you in the same place at the same time. What her family's doing to both of you is not okay. They are disrespecting both of you. It's been 13 years. They're delusional if they think they can hook him up with her. Clearly, she's not interested, but she needs to shut this behavior down immediately. Shame on them. Going forward, there is no reason you should be spending two to three months with her family ever. You have your own lives and a baby on the way. Actually, I had mentioned to Abby that she had never told me about that ex, and she said that Alan was never someone relevant in her life, and she considers me her first love, so I'm totally sure she doesn't even feel anything for him. Abby always responds coldly to the weird comments her family makes, but she is normally resting in the bedroom, and they have never said anything as harsh as what I heard from my brother-in-law and mother-in-law. Sounds like you've got an amazing life. I'm sorry her family are such a-holes to you. I think going forward, you guys should not stay with her family for as long as you do, and next time you visit, stay in a hotel. Enjoy your time there. Going forward, tell her the things they say or do and let her handle it. They are her family. Let them be her problem. And what does your wife say? My wife just ignores Alan, and when my brother-in-law says those things, Abby just says, if you like Alan that much, then go sleep with him, and a conversation ends. When I found out it's her ex, she just said, ah yes, I dated him for two months when I finished high school, and made a disgusted face. I couldn't ask more, because she has been really tired with the pregnancy and don't want to stress her more. I'm sorry, they're this pressed for a guy she dated for two months over a decade ago? OP, was Alan a family friend or something? It just feels weird that they like him this much. Having known you for 13 years, have they always disliked you? From what I heard, he lived in the same neighborhood, but they were never close until Abby started dating him. When he moved to Europe, the family still had contact with him through Facebook and WhatsApp, and even some members of the family stays in his house when they went to Europe. So it seems the aunts and cousins are really close with him. They always made jokes about our farm life, and I know my mother-in-law hates that Abby has gone to live so far away from them. She always hides her dislike from me, although I can feel the cold treatment she always gives me. My brother-in-laws always made it obvious that they didn't like me for it, taking their old sister away. The rest of the family treats me well or just normal, but Ellen is really charismatic. Plus, they're all really extroverted people, and I'm more on the quiet side, so I think it's easier for them to like him more. They just like the idea of using him for free trips to Europe. They're delusional. And they're willing to break up their daughter's 13-year relationship when she has a kid on the way. Truly nonsensical, and also just morally repugnant. Could they be any more trashy? Now for the update. 
So I found out my wife was cheating on me with Alan. Nah, just kidding. Thanks for all the advice I received. Many of them were very helpful and some were very weird ideas like record conversations with my mother-in-law or have my wife choose between her family or me. Maybe it's something cultural, but I would never give an ultimatum like that. Because to me, it's a really low blow to do. Here, family is very important. After making the post and reading the comments, I decided to talk with Abby about what I heard. We were in our room and I talked about what her mother and brother said as calmly as possible. But the moment I finished telling everything, Abby just kissed my forehead and ran with her pregnant belly out of the bedroom to literally yell at everyone in the living room. No one spoke beside an aunt, who tried to justify themselves by saying that they were just making jokes, to which I replied that they were uncomfortable and disgusting jokes. At some point, Abby told her mother something like, Whether you like it or not, I'm married to this man. I'm going to have this baby with him and many more, so shut up and bear with it. Then my wife yelled at her brothers and went with them to talk in private. My brother-in-law's talk with me and admitted that they were only doing that because they believed I was forcing Abby to marry and live in a farm far away from the family, when it was actually Abby's idea to get married in private and live in a farm. So all these years it has just been a misunderstanding. The three brothers apologized to me and were really embarrassed about their behavior, saying they only invited Ellen to mess with me. After that, most of the family members apologized to us. Abby told everyone that she doesn't want to see Ellen in the house anymore while we're here. She's not going to forbid them from talking with him, but doesn't want to see him near her because he's uncomfortable. Mother-in-law tried to complain, but Abby just said, Shut up, mom, and left the living room with me. In the bedroom, Abby confessed to me that she also felt uncomfortable, but since Ellen is a friend of the family, she preferred not to say anything other than throw passive-aggressive comments at him. For example, after New Year's, we were all eating and Ellen stroked her belly without asking. To which my wife said, Do it again and I'll bite you. So we never did that again. Abby even said that at some point, she actually talked with Alan and told him that she dislikes being touched by other people. But Alan said she was overreacting and left her talking alone. I feel really stupid for not noticing how uncomfortable my wife also was feeling, because after that is when she stayed most of the times in the bedroom when Alan was in the house, with the excuse she was tired because of the pregnancy. Just out of curiosity, I asked her why she broke up with Alan if he's such a cool man, because I'll admit, he's really charismatic. And Abby told me that he always treated her as if he knew everything and explained things that she already knew every time they talked. Abby never felt the need of talking about that relationship because it wasn't relevant and she sees me as her first love, not Ellen. I apologize to Abby for not noticing how uncomfortable she was and only looking at my own feelings without talking about it as a couple. And Abby also apologized for the same. We promised to communicate this kind of thing to each other no matter what. Yesterday, we went on a date together and when we came back, my mother-in-law looked very unfriendly, but she apologized to my wife, to which Abby said she should apologize to me. So, mother-in-law and I talked for a while alone, and although I'm still upset, we promised to at least be civil with each other for Abby and the baby. We decided next time we will stay in one of the hotel rooms while we were here even if it's a three-hour drive. It would be better for us to be comfortable, and three months in my in-law's house was always really tiring, so it's something we should have done earlier. For now, Alan is no longer in the picture because yesterday, I got his number to send a message, clarifying why he can't come back and why I don't want him near my wife. The man just blocked me without answering. I guess he understood, but if he didn't, I don't have any problem in talking about it face to face. Edit? I showed Abby the Reddit post, and she didn't have any problem with me asking for advice. I'm even posting this now with her hugging my arm. I love this woman a lot. Edit 2. Alan came back to the country because he divorced his wife and is flirting with any woman to come his way. So it seems he thought it was a great idea to try and flirt with my pregnant wife. Dude, I literally saw the first paragraph and my heart dropped. Seems to me that you have an amazing wife and will likely have an amazing life. Good luck and don't mess it up. Also, congrats on becoming a parent. Thanks for the good wishes. To all people is commenting. I'm sure I will never do anything to mess up what I have now with my little family. I have no idea what your wife looks like, but a mental image of a pregnant lady kissing her husband's forehead and running out of your room to give her family a verbal lashing is definitely one of the most wholesome things I've ever read. Her family sucks. Tell me about it. Not only deciding they knew what Abby wanted without ever talking to Abby and actually asking her if she was happy, but then going behind her back to try and break up her happy marriage and set her up with someone she already ended a relationship with. I'm betting not once did they ever stop and wonder why Abby and Alan never worked out in the first place, or why Abby chose to not break up with Opie. Yay for your wife. I appreciate her so much for listening to you, supporting you, and not delaying a single moment and setting her family straight. 
She sounds amazing, as does your marriage and connection. And I'm so happy this situation seems to have only made you stronger as a couple, and maybe as individuals too. And one more thing, I'm very vocal about one having autonomy and full control over who touches them and when. Included in this is pregnant women, and a tendency for people to help themselves to a tummy touch without permission from the mama. It enrages me that people feel entitled to the body of another person in any way like that. Reading that Alan touched Abby's belly made my blood boil. But I absolutely love her response that she will bite him if he does it again. She's feisty, and that will continue to serve her well in her life and the life of her child. Same, Abby also hates when people touches her belly without asking. Even old ladies we don't know does that, and it's really uncomfortable for her. Abby always asks people not to do that, but most of them get offended by that. There are many people who do not respect the personal space of pregnant women, with the excuse of caressing the baby. It's really annoying. Last story. My elders kept a huge secret my whole life and I accidentally discovered the truth. My 39 female and my sister 42 female became suspicious a few years ago that our dad, 67 male, isn't our 38 male younger brother's bio dad. Our suspicion started four years ago when our parents got divorced. My mom, 62 female, acted completely insane, trying to get us and our kids to basically abandon our dad and chose to only have a relationship with her. Our dad said a few cryptic things out of frustration that made it clear he had big secrets and that it felt stuck watching her try to isolate us and not being able to tell us the truth about who she really is as a person. Then a childhood friend of our mom had her first great grandbaby and we ended up seeing not just her, but also her two adult children, 56 female and 54 male for the first time since becoming suspicious. As soon as we saw the son David, we knew he is our brother's dad. We hadn't seen him in some years, but my brother, who wasn't there, wears a near carbon copy of his face. That was almost two years ago. We knew, but we didn't know. Until yesterday, when I expressed sadness about my relationship with my mom, who has always been a destructive force in our lives. I told my dad about how much it hurts that our mom has always only really been interested in having a good relationship with our brother, but not my sister and I, who are no slash low contact with our mom now. He said there was a reason for that, that he was her son. I said, but she's our mom too. And he said she had her reasons and that she wished he could tell us everything, but that it was the wrong thing to do. So, I told him that my sister and I already knew the truth, that he isn't our brother's dad, and farther, that we know who is. Through this conversation, I learned that one of my aunts, David, his sister and his mom, a woman we referred to as our aunt our entire lives, all know the truth, and that my mother and David had carried on an affair for three years when we were little. Now everything is so confusing. We want to tell our brother the truth, but he already has a rocky relationship with our dad, in part due to my mom's lifetime alienation and our mom is his best friend. We don't want to tell him that all these people lied to him his whole life, or that his bio dad has known about him and watched him grow up, but opted out of being his dad. We don't want to ruin the relationships our brother has, but they are built on lies. Now my brother is about to undergo an exploratory surgery based on a medical history that isn't his. But I'm left wondering if it's worse to have a necessary surgery or to learn that your life and relationships are built on lies. To add even more medical drama, my brother also has a couple of kids with a rare genetic condition that hasn't come up before in either our background or his wife's. Only boys get it, and the new baby is also a boy. We won't know if he also has it for a few years, since we can't tell his mom to get him tested without revealing why. Luckily, there is no early interventions, so her finding out later versus now won't change her child's outcome. But still, if he has it too, that might reveal the secret on his own. There are so many more twists and turns to get us to where we are now. But this is the Cliff's Notes. Now for the comments. Sorry to tell you this, but your mom is a predator. Oh, I know. I just didn't know that this was one of the ways in which that's true. It does explain how she has maintained a relationship with a family member who molested both me and my sister. Ew. Your mom had an affair with her friend's son? That's so crazy. 24-year-old dating a 16-year-old and a 16-year-old's mom is okay with it and remained friends? I kept hoping that David's dad was the one that got her prego, not the 16-year-old. Yuck. That is so wrong on so many levels. Honestly, I'd blow it up. DNA kids are outright telling him. Your mom doesn't treat you or your sister right. She cheated and took advantage of a kid that technically couldn't give consent at that age. Your brother deserves to know now. He needs to know before his surgery and all the rest. You can be gentle when you tell him but to hide it further is not right. Mom cheated with a 16-year-old who got her pregnant. Not a good look. I'm not ready to even try to come to terms with that part. 
My 20 years of therapy just was basically obliterated by a whole new way to view pre-existing childhood trauma. I don't blame you for that at all. This is a whole lot to unpack. But I totally agree with the other poster that said once, keeping a secret like this could affect the outcome in a medical situation. Whether concerning your brother or his son, all bets are off. The surgeon needs to know his accurate medical history, and your brother and his wife need to know the truth about why this genetic condition has a possibility of affecting their son, so they can get an accurate paternal family history for any genetic counseling they may decide to do. Yes, this is going to rock his world, and I get that your mom is his best friend, but that relationship is built on lie after lie after lie, and he deserves to know the truth. Not only for all the reasons above, but so he can make decisions based on all the facts about his relationship with your mother because she knows that he needs an accurate paternal medical history and still chose to say nothing. That's next level messed up and the stakes are too high to stay quiet. 